loose women star Denise Welch has hit back after a Twitter troll called her stupid and ignorant for her remarks about what it's like to battle depression. Denise had called the mental health condition the most crippling and isolating illness. In an interview with Nana Akuan on GB News, Denise was asked if the stigma around depression had finally gone. No, the 63-year-old replied. People have said to me, do you think you've lost work because of it? And I said, I don't know, no one's told me that, but to be perfectly honest, if somebody didn't give me a job because I live with clinical depression, having never missed a day's work, really, in my whole 40-odd year career, that's not true, one job I had to pull out of, she corrected herself. I had a breakdown doing a pantomime, in 2004. It was a very very frightening time. I had collapsed in my dressing room, I hadn't eaten for three weeks, I can't eat when I have a depressive episode, Denise continued. If you had somebody who was suffering from a horrendous illness, such as cancer, but they looked well, like my mom did, you wouldn't go up to that person in the bed and say, come on, you've had this for a month. Get yourself out there, you look fine to me. I'll take you to the shops and buy you a new dress, get your trainers on and go out for a bloody good walk. That's what they say to us. It is the most crippling and isolating illness, and that's why we read the tragic headlines. As GB News posted a video clip of the interview, one cruel user named Bob took aim at Denise's words. It's the most crippling and isolating illness what a stupid, ignorant thing to say, they wrote. To this, Denise replied, this is Bob and his response to me describing clinical depression as crippling and isolating. Bob is why I will speak out forevermore. The Hollyoaks actress fans flooded her with support. Dear me it's not a competition Bob and it's not down to you to say how people should be coping with any illness. Mind your own business, wrote Hell's Bells. Anna Marie added, I would never be so discourteous to poo-poo anyone's feelings when talking about mental illness slash depression. When you've never lived it you have no idea so have no right to put anyone down or be so rude about someone who has. Continue to speak out please. You never know, you may be able to educate people like this who haven't a clue, Pen Melanie.